For months, one virus has been dominating the headlines, devastating populations, striking fear in people's hearts, and stigmatizing its victims. But my next guest says a very different virus shaped his life in such markedly similar ways, and now he's on a mission to help others affected take back their power. Please welcome entertainment host and co-founder and executive producer of Plus Life, Carl Schmid. Hey, Carl. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you, man. Uh, listen, man, we usually find you rubbing shoulders with the Hollywood royalty and celebrities on the red carpet, but you say all that glitter isn't gold. For a long time, you were sitting on a very personal and potentially career-ending secret. What was that diagnosis? The diagnosis was an HIV diagnosis, and it was a secret uh, in my professional life because I feared that it would cost me my job and my career. And that's somewhat ridiculous in, in this day and age. You know, I was diagnosed when I was uh, 27 years old, starting out living in London, having a great life. Uh, and I felt like my life had been taken away from me in a second. What was the hardest part for you? The hardest part for me is the stigma. Mm. You know, when, when someone is diagnosed with cancer, we, we wrap our arms around them and we say, my gosh, let me comfort you. But to this day, if you say, I'm HIV positive, people go. And the reality is that if you are a healthy person living with HIV, taking your medicine, you cannot transmit the virus sexually to a partner. So the, the social stigmas around it um, have not done us any favors. And also, we have not done anything really smart mm. in breaking down that stigma. People go, yeah. oh yeah, you take a pill, you're fine. And that's true. But we haven't educated and brought people into 2020. And I'm hopefully by using my voice and my platforms, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Well, speaking of that, so what exactly changed and inspired you to finally say, and we like, we have an expression here. We say, take your power back. What inspired you to take your power back? Well, I mentioned just, just then, uh, U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable. And this was revolutionary to me. I didn't know about it. I, I, two and a half years ago, I had never heard of U equals U. And it was like a, the, the person gave me the keys and the handcuffs came off. Mm. Suddenly, I wasn't dirty. Suddenly, I wasn't a threat to anyone. Suddenly, I wasn't full of shame. And I got really angry. And I thought, how is it that people don't know about this? How is it I don't know about it? And, and it, this is a message that, you know, around the world is getting out, but we are struggling in this country to get this basic message. And by the way, it couldn't be any more cheaper or cost effective. You equals you. If you're undetectable, you can't transmit the virus. No need to be afraid of me because of my HIV. You can be scared of me for other things, just the HIV doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> now, you created a, a great platform called Plus Life. What is that about? So Plus Life came out of the overwhelming amount of messages that I, to this day, get from speaking publicly about my status. Uh, it, constantly, people sliding into the DMs and saying, thank you, thank you. And so I, I partnered with two colleagues of mine, and I said, look, wouldn't it be great to just have a platform out there that talks about living with HIV and living your best life? So we created Plus Life, uh, and, and it's been going great for the past year, and, and now it's become a television show uh, on the local issue network for ABC, and, and we are all about expanding and saying, look, life knocks you down. You get knocked down, it's okay. You can sit down there and have a cry for a while. That's healthy. But then when you get up, what can you do about it? And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Wow, that is great. Let's talk about, real fast, the COVID parallels and um, with HIV. Um, what parallels you've seen and how have they struck you personally? 30 years ago when people were in hospitals dying of AIDS, doctors and nurses wouldn't even touch them. So now we've got doctors holding up their cell phones and doing Zoom meetings so families can communicate. So I think we've learned a lot in the compassion side of things. But I say constantly, you know, HIV doesn't have to kill you, but stigma will. Mm. We've got to get people. You, you cannot be defined by those three letters and a little plus symbol. I love it. Carl, this is great. And you equals you. Take your pills. Uh, and thanks so much for shining a light and your commitment, of course, to really trying to erase these stigmas, which are doing no one any good. Thanks for talking well, honestly with us. Thank you for having me on the show. And thank you for bringing up you equals you and, and taking the time to have this important discussion. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. And to learn more about Plus Life, just check out our website. You know what it is, thedoctorstv.com.